Hey, Divine Mommies. Happy Monday. Thank you all so much for sharing all the Divine Mommy posts in honor of Divine Mommy's second birthday. Look at all these names in here. Every time you share a post, I'm going to put your name in this vase. I think I need a bigger vase. Um, I'm going to put your name in this vase, and on April 6th, in honor of Divine Mommy's second birthday, I'm going to pull out some names for some winners. Now, what are you going to win? Hmm, interesting you should ask. The first item up for grabs is this amazing book, The Girl God Trilogy by my friend, Trista Hendren. Um, three books in here, ladies. The Girl God, Mother Earth, and Tell Me Why. Three stories that will open your heart, feed your soul, and really heal all of those levels and layers of that wounded feminine within. This is a great story to share with your sons, your daughters, your nieces, your nephews, your brothers, your sisters, anyone who will listen. Um, the beautiful thing, one of the many beautiful things about this book is that it really helps us revalue these qualities of the divine feminine. And the more that we can teach uh, our young people about this, the more that we can reheal the rest of us, the more chances we have of stopping this genetic cycle. Um, so. This is the first prize, the Girl God Trilogy by Trista Hendren. Um, before I go on to the other prizes that are available, I wanted to just let you know that in this book, um, underneath of these beautiful, gorgeous illustrations by Elizabeth Sletness, Trista has compiled all of these gorgeous readings and prayers and quotes. Oh my gosh. So some of them you've seen on the Divine Mommy Facebook posts with other images. Thank you all so much for sharing those. But I wanted to read one today. Um, this one is in Mother Earth <clears throat> and it's by Julia Schofield Russell. Okay, so sit back, relax. Let's get connected and just take a moment for you. Breathe. Feel the air in your lungs. Breathe. Mother is feeding you. She feeds you and sustains your life with every breath. Let her love permeate every cell. Let your heart fill with her love. Let it swell with love from her for her. She nurtures you in every way. Let your love and gratitude grow. Let it flow out to her and to all your brothers and sisters of the plant and the animal kingdom. We are all mother's children, beloved by her, nurtured and protected from the harsh reality of outer space. Julia Schofield Russell. Just take a second and think of those words. Breathe, love, nurture, protect. Those are all qualities of the feminine. All things that all of us can really look towards and embody to start to re-embrace these aspects and um, to rebalance these qualities of the feminine in our lives and in our relationships. So you will not be disappointed whoever wins this book. If you don't win it, go get it on your own. It's on Amazon. You can look at Trista's website, thegirlgod.com, and you can also uh, search her on Facebook. Okay, so what is prize number two? Prize number two is waiting for you. I call this handmade bracelet here, which is charging on my Mother Mary Goddess card with this rose quartz. Um, charging here for whoever wins it. This is the Heart Healer Divine Mommy Bracelet. Now, why is it called the Heart Healer? Because we got some green aventurine stones here. These are these beautiful stones of the heart center. Um, the green aventurine has that energy of the maiden, that youthful sort of energy of springtime, so that it really allows things to come out and to grow when they're meant to grow. We've also got hematite. Hematite is a beautiful stone of balancing the masculine and the feminine. It's a very protective stone. And it also helps us pull away negative energy and helps deflect negative energy. Then we've got Jasper. Now, Jasper is a very nurturing stone. It really is a stone of the divine feminine. Really brings in a lot of that heart energy. So this is the heart healer stone charging on the Mother Mary Expect a Miracle Goddess card and bringing in this energy of the rose quartz. So it's waiting here for you. Winner number two. Now, number three, this I'm calling the Divine Mother, Divine Mommy Healing Bracelet. So Divine Mother, Divine Mommy Healing Bracelet. Now, why am I calling it that? 
because it's got the green aventurine, it's got the hematite, it's got the jasper, but it's also got the rose quartz. Now, rose quartz is the stone of the mother. It's all about the unconditional love coming in and going out, especially the love of self, as we need that to really fully take that love out and give it to other people. And it also has unakite. Can you see the unakite in there? It's kind of coral and and got some of those green threads going through. It's a beautiful stone. Now, the unakite is the stone, one of the stones of the Ajna. It's all about bringing in these visions. Um, and it's about <clears throat> guidance and trusting guidance. And we know so often we get these beautiful messages from our great mother. So these messages for healing can definitely come through this beautiful um, healing mother divine mommy bracelet. So this is waiting for you being charged with some amethyst on the Kuan Yin Compassion Goddess card. So whoever is ready and waiting for that, it's ready and waiting for you. Our next gift is going to be your own Crystal Angels card, <laughs> cards by Doreen Virtue. Your own set of oracle cards to really get to know the crystals a lot better. There's some ideas of what these cards look like. So this is your own set. This will be gift number three, and it's charging underneath my raw ruby here to bring in all kinds of love into these cards. And the fourth and final gift to be auctioned off is going to be your own self-love essential oil blend. Now, I have the recipe here in front of me, and I'm going to read to you the uh, different oils that are in here. So we've got Lang Lang, which is the true oil of the heart. We've got bergamot, which is all about self-worth, self-acceptance, releasing self-hatred, releasing self-judgment. We've got ginger. Now, ginger is one of those oils that we hear a lot about for tummy troubles, but when it comes to the emotional and spiritual qualities of ginger, it really is that oil of empowerment. We also have geranium. Now, geranium is good about letting us safely and presently let down boundaries so we can really start to build a regain of trust. We can build that regaining trust in the world around us and the people in our relationships. We've got wild orange. Wild orange is all about opening our hearts and our minds to the potentials around us. We've got patchouli, one of my faves. Patchouli is amazing at releasing patterns of shame and feeling like you're not enough. Who needs some more patchouli? I do. <laughs> sandalwood is our second to last ingredient. Sandalwood is one of those oils of ascension, really getting us up to those higher levels of vibration to connect into that sort of spiritual triad. Um, sandalwood is also about letting go of the ego, which I could use some of that too. And our last oil in here, it was a gift from a girlfriend of mine from Bulgaria, Bulgarian Rose Essential Oil. And that's all about connecting into that heart and opening our heart and our soul to spiritual love. So stay tuned, keep sharing posts, keep having a beautiful day. Thank you so much for your support. I feel so blessed to get to connect to all of you in this Divine Mommy tribe. I hope to meet all of you someday and I hope everyone continues to have a beautiful divine week. Namaste goddesses. I love you.